the one thing I've learned from you know making three albums now is you just don't know what's going to happen and often the best bits occur you know halfway through the, the songs making so you kind of have to sort of almost take a leap of faith and trust that um, you know something magical will happen and often it does today we have been recording the brass and um, they just kind of add that little magic touch These tambourines sound pretty good with, with a snare, snare drum, that's the, that's the secret. Ray Cooper is a legendary percussion player and uh, when he came in and, and recorded on some of the tracks, um, he, was, he was really incredible. He really added a lot to the songs. If I were to describe what happens on a, on a standard recording day, it would basically involve you pick a song, whichever one you want to start with, and We'll play it to the band, uh, let the band familiarise themselves with it. Generally speaking, we, we do know what we want, but sometimes we don't really know. We, we sort of leave it up to the moment to come up with something and, and see where it all fits. Can I play what you, what you play? And then we usually take one or two takes, maybe three, uh, depending on how easy it, it all fits together. After we've done a good first take, we'll all go into the control room to listen back to what, what's been recorded and every person sort of listens to their bits and wonders how much they hate it or they love it. Then we'll start overdubs. What if you, you played with me, Steve? How would that be? So when we did that first take with the band, I'll also be doing the same, you know, I'll be doing my first rough vocal. Sometimes I'm kind of happy with it and we'll leave it and maybe have a few changes or other times I'll go in and do a completely whole new vocal on another day. You do just know, you know, you just go into the studio and you kind of, just by the fact that you've grown and developed, the album will be different to the first two. It's not about just changing for change's sake, it's kind of just having different interests and trying to you know, stay true to your heart and not just trying to emulate the successes of the first two records. And so I think the most important thing is to be brave and to do what you believe in and, and never to release what you're not 100% happy with.